The Tampa Bay Bucks held off a late fourth quarter run from the Atlanta Falcons to beat them 21-15 yesterday. A crucial roughing the passer call came against the Falcons two-time Pro Bowler Grady Jarrett on Tom Brady after he took the QB down in a 10-yard loss from third and five with just over four and a half minutes left on the clock. The Falcons adamantly disagreed with the call on the field, and man, a lot of fans are with them on that. Shannon, what do you think? Was roughing the passer the right or the wrong call here? It was absolutely the wrong call, um, and it cost the, Skip, I'm not saying it cost the Falcons the game, but it cost them an opportunity to possibly win the game because they would have gotten the ball back and it remains to be seen what Mario and the offense could have done. And then uh, could Tom Brady have answered? But Skip, here's something, Article 11, about roughing the pass. He says, because uh, the act of passing often puts the quarterback or any player attempting to pass the ball in position of particular vulnerable injury. Special rules apply against roughing the passer. The referee is the pr- is pr- principal responsibility in enforcing these rules. So basically, Skip, and it also says... It is the referee's judgment are warranted by these circumstances. This says because the quarterback is particularly vulnerable in a passing situation. What Tom Brady at that point in time was not in a vulnerable position. He had started to run because he had saw Grady Jarrett. So let me get this straight, Skip. I I understand I cannot hit the quarterback in the head, neck, or shoulder area. I understand I cannot land my body weight on the quarterback if if I tackle him. I also understand I cannot hit the quarterback below the waist. Or, or in the knee area. I get all of that. How else am I going to get the quarterback down, Skip, if I don't throw him on the ground? Skip, if you think, of, look what he does. Grady Jarrett wraps him up. And because to, in the process of wrapping him up, Brady lands on top of him first. Skip, if he lets him go, Brady can pop up, run, which we know is not very likely, but he can pop up and throw a pass. So Grady, like, wraps him up, flings him down, and then you can see Brady's, like, kicking at the guy to get to like get off him. And then Brady's saying, like, what do you call it? Did you see him, like, on top of me? And Jerome Broga says, no, I got it for roughing the passer. Brady's like, yeah, 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 that's what it was. Skip, that was in that situation, I get it. The job of the, the referee in that situation is to protect the quarterback. But, Skip, that was a Bush League call. That was a bull job call. That's two weeks in a row, Skip. But they, got, they got one last week in Baltimore. The same crew, the same crew. Got Baltimore last week when they said they did the same thing to uh, Josh Allen. And it was nothing close to a, a, a rough in the passer. Now, there's two weeks in a row, Jerome Boger. There's a good chance you're probably not going to get to play in the playoff game. If he do, you're going to get the one, the wild card game. He grabs him around his waist. He's flinging him, he's slinging him down because Brady lands on top of him. And we've seen quarterbacks do this, Skip. Land on top of the guy, running back, land on top of the guy, pops up, takes off running. Quarterback pops up, throws a pass. But Jerome Boger, I believe, was wrong in this situation. Now, the clubs want this because they say, look, we want the guy that's making the most money, which is the quarterback, the guy that's normally the face of the franchise, we want them protected. Well, if you're going to protect them to this, if you can't throw the quarterback on the ground now, Skip, man, these quarterbacks are going to play 25, 30 years Mm. because you can't land on them, you can't hit them in the neck, you can't hit them in the knee, and now you can't throw them on the ground. How else am I supposed to tackle him? How else can I get him on the ground, Skip? Just lay him on the ground. <laughs> lay him down gently. Do, Put him to sleep. So do I need to get some some pill? So I do to get some pillows? Do I mean what, what what else do I need? A mattress mm-hmm. out there? But I believe this was the wrong call. And I believe in this situation, only one quarterback would get that call, and that's the guy that got mm. it. I do not believe that. Shannon, you know and I know everything changed after Tua. It's it's like A T instead of A D. It's after Tua. The world fixated on Tua. The world fixated on the Buffalo game when he stumbled up and and teetered. And then the world was watching on Thursday night at Cincinnati when you know and I know what happened. It was the backup nose tackle for the Bengals. Got a hold of Tua if we could see that play. And to use their term, slung him to the ground. I thought the backup tackle was trying to actually lay him down a little more gently. I thought he sort of pulled his punch at the end and didn't really sling him. But to his head, whiplashed and hit the turf, and that was the end of Tua for that night, right? right? And maybe for, I don't know, it could be for the whole year for all I know. Correct. Okay? So everything changed, and as Todd Bowles, obviously the Buccaneers coach, said after the game, right now – that's the way they're calling it, and I think a lot of people would have gotten that call. Let me ask you a question. They had never called that play before prior to Tom Brady, so to say that's the way they're calling it is just not true because prior to that play yesterday, they had not called that. 
Well, I don't know. I don't fixate on every single no, play no, of every because, game. Because the, the way the way they was the way that they said it, the way that it's supposed to go, Skip, head neck area. We understand that. Hit to the head, neck, shoulder area. We get that. We get landing your body weight on the quarterback. We get that. We get hitting in the knee. At no point in time had we ever seen a quarterback get – Skip, Aaron Donald got 55 sacks where he slings the quarterback down because he said, you're not going to take a sack away from me by calling me unnecessary roughness if I land on him, and you're not going to find me. So that's the way Aaron Donald normally sacks the quarterback. He normally flings him down. Okay, but Article 11 that you read has been rendered obsolete because of Tua. It all started and ended with Tua. And that play is a whiplash play. It's it's a sling down play where Brady was lucky his head actually bounced on his shoulder pad instead of on the ground. The difference is, is that Brady knows how to protect himself. Maybe. See, Brady puts his left arm out so his head doesn't hit. Tua has the ball cradle, and the first thing to hit is the back of his head. But that's his throwing shoulder. I'm not so sure, Brady, if that's his right shoulder, Maybe. Brady does that. Brady understands. And yeah. that's the Skip, it's all about falling. It's all about knowing how to fall in, in certain situations. But, Skip, if defenders cannot mm-hmm. get the quarterback on the ground – I just don't know how else are you supposed – that's the whole point. <clears throat> Throw his you-know-what on the ground, okay? Grady Jarrett threw his you-know-what right on the ground. But if you notice, Skip, he lands on top of him. And so Grady is ro- rolling over. Brady is on him. So, what, what's, so what's Grady supposed to do? Well, he's sitting on top of me. Let me just let me go. Okay, the official. And then the officials are not going to blow it dead. They're like, well, you let him go. He wasn't down. I didn't blow the whistle. <clears throat> okay. Th- this was a bad call. All right, but Jerome boger has been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And he was fully, even though he got asked after the game, was this about Tua? And he said, no, not necessarily. I think it was all about right. Tua because he knows full well what the stakes are now with the concussions, with CTE, starting with Tua. That changed everything. And that play, if, if you watch the Tua play and that play, they're very similar, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that all Jerome Boger's doing is reacting to public pressure because – Everybody was was out of their minds about the two a sling down play, and but uh, but Skip, I don't think anybody thought that was roughing. I don't think anybody thought that was unnecessary. Nobody thought that was a dirty play. Nobody said, "Man, that was a dirty play." Or he landed on him. Oh, he hit him in his neck. Oh, he hit him in his knee. I didn't hear. Now maybe I, I obviously I'm not on all social media. I didn't hear every uh, 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 show talk about it. But I, I from what I heard and what I read. No one thought that was a dirty play. But that was the play that could have ended his season. Heck, it could threaten his career. Skip, for after you know. play football, every play can end your season. Yes, That's why could. football is so inherently dangerous. We know that. We take assumption of the risk. You take your butt out there. You can tear a ligament. You can break an arm. You can break a leg. You can break damn near every bone in your body playing football. We understand that. Okay, so they found two plays that can knock quarterbacks out for the season, and that is body weight falling on yeah. top of shoulders yeah. with the shoulder, right? The, the goose are rich together. Okay, play. it is. It's, it, it, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. And now the sling down play where the head can whiplash on right. the turf can – it, it can knock so you out. So can I ask you a question? Is that going to be for all players or just the quarterback? Just the quarterback. Because you saw what happened to Chris Olave. He had the exact same, the exact they're, same they're play. They're not going to call it. Skip, now I can see, you know, you also, Skip, you can't lift the guy up like Turkey Jones did Terry Bradshaw. Mm-hmm. You can't lift the guy up and suplex him or you lift the guy mm-hmm. off his feet. That's not what Grady did. Grady wraps him up right around his waist, and as he's spinning, he, Skip, if you can't tackle the quarterback like that, Skip, Guys are going to throw, end up throwing for 6,000 yards. Guys are going to throw for 60, 70 touchdowns because I don't really know what to, I don't know what to tell the defender. Okay. So, what, what do I t- so what do I t- – Skip, moving forward, what, you the D coordinator. You the head coach. What do you tell Grady? Just to pull him down. Get him on How? the ground. Just pull him down. Don't sling. Don't sling. Skip, you Just do, pull. Skip, Just pull. Skip, you can't, Skip, you do realize that he's running around. They run a stunt. If you notice, Grady starts here and comes all the way around. Skip, his momentum – Mo, you skip. They, they, the NFL asked players to defy physics to just stop. Okay, you got to just stop. I, how? I'm running full speed, and you expect me to just stop and drop on him? Yeah, well, on. it's like guys blocking punts. At, at some point, you can't run into a rough no, no, punter. No, no, you skip. have to pull up. No, it's a skip. But to see the the point. Go two feet from where the guy, uh, a foot, uh, two feet in front of where the guy, because he has to step. You never run to where he is. You run to where he's going to punt the ball. Okay, boom, and you go at an angle. You don't go dead on. You go to the side. Either way, left or right. 
I don't know what they expect Brady Jerry to do. Skip, this is physics. The guy is running. I, Skip, let me tell you, if you wrap up, you're running, and you wrap somebody around the waist, I want you to stop all your momentum and just fall. And that's what I want you to do. I want, any, I, want somebody, I want somebody in the commission. I want somebody on the competition committee. I want one of these owners. Walk briskly. Grab someone around the waist and stop instantaneous. Mm-hmm. So imagine Grady Jarrett running like seven, eight, nine miles an hour to just stop. I'm not stop. sure he can run much faster than that, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, somewhere yeah, in I there. Yeah, I think I think, uh, Grady faster than what you think, Skip. Yeah, I don't know. He's a huge human being. Yeah. But, but Skip, look, look at okay. this. Look at this. Oh, can you say stop? Look at his momentum. He's off his high. Okay, because you, just you stop? can't sling. You can't sling. Just pull him down. You go straight down and pull him down on top of you. Skip. Pull him straight down okay, on let me, top let me of you. Let me tell you what's going to happen. They're gonna end up breaking somebody's ankle because that's almost like a horse collar. Okay. When you drop that seat, now see what now you you creating a problem that you don't really want. Because let me tell you what's gonna happen. Guys gonna drop their weight down, just like the guys used to tackle the guys from the back. Roy Williams was dropping his weight down, broke TO, uh, 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 tore somebody both ACLs, and then they changed that rule. You're creating something that you don't really want because all Grady Jarrett did was make a football play. There was nothing illegal about that. There was nothing to punish this man for. Okay. All the NFL really cares about is, number one, the marketability of its game hinges upon the health of the quarterback. Yes. The Saints now. I I just can't even watch them because they don't have a quarterback. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to watch Taysom Hill and 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 Andy Dalton. I just don't. I, I, I can't. I, I flipped over to the game a couple of times, and I'm like, and it, it ended up. It was up, very it was, interesting. It was, it was, it was a great, great game. It had a great finish to yeah. it. But Geno Smith versus Andy Dalton or Taysom Hill, I, I just well, don't. Skip, that's all they got to begin with. Okay. It's not like they started out with great quarterbacks and they lost them along the way. This is what they went to the game okay. with. Okay, but, but that's number one. And number two is they have to protect against CTE concussion-based lawsuits right. going forward. And you know and I know. You've got what, what was the whole weekend? What was the biggest news? The NFLPA and the NFL have agreed to revise the concuss, con, concussion. Well, you can, you can revise it all you want to, but when, when you get guys like Tua lying, talking about it was his back because yeah. he had a back issue going in, mm-hmm. and all they do is look at his back and they never check his head. Yeah. So that's on him. You got to ask these players. Plus, now that's on him, but you got to be smart enough. Okay. Like you said, you looking up there. Man, you saw the man's head hit the turf, mm. and he's going to talk about his back. You know what? I understand your back, but we're going to examine your head also. Mm. Okay, I got it. One last point. Again, I'm a Brady fan. You're a Brady hater. But in the end, that's where this stems from. That's the, the genesis of all nah, this that's a, this is no okay. Brady hate here. Right. That was just a great play. I was in time with you, babe. Oh, I thought that you was mine, little babe. You make me feel so alive, little babe. Choose mine, but you change. Now I cannot spend the time on you, baby. But the way you talk in my game, baby. Yeah, you said it was my heart that you saved it. Now you switch up on me.